Talk to Joe on 1850 715 815. 5151 text. I thought the, the, the stag hunting days were gone thanks to John Gormley and his campaign. But Tony Ryan, good afternoon, Tony. Uh, good afternoon, Joe. Where are you living, Tony? Uh, Kilsloon, County Mead. And what happened? Well, on Tuesday, uh, I went outside here at about 10 to 3 and I heard uh, a lot of horses passing, which is assigned to me as a hunt on. So immediately I went down the field because. Yeah. We keep uh, sheep here, and uh, dogs are generally our problem. And when I went down there, after a few minutes, uh, a deer came up along the fence outside ours. A deer was obviously in distress, a stag. Okay, stag, okay. And I could hear the dogs uh, yelping in the different distance, and within a minute or so, they came up after them, and they came through the fence and in onto uh, our land. And they were followed by, I'd say, a minimum of 60 uh, people on horseback uh, right. hunting. Uh, so this was the Ward Union hunt? It was the Ward Union yeah. hunt because when they came up to me I, I, I said to the people you, you, know, you can't come in here and I said get your dogs out please. Mm. And one man said you know me. I said I do because I do happen to know this man and he is uh, involved in the Ward Union hunt. And uh, the dogs were going nearer and nearer to the sheep, and I was trying to protect the sheep from the, the dogs, but they were following us, and eventually they, they turned around and uh, came over, and they found where the deer was. And with that, there was all hell broke loose with the uh, deer after the, uh, the dogs after the deer, and they came through the fence in onto our land. And the, the dog, or the stag, was obviously distressed. He was uh, just barely able to keep a few feet ahead of the. Mm -hmm. uh, the dogs and uh, they went through two fields and up a road by an hour and over a gate Okay, did the hunters come onto your land? They didn't because I told them they couldn't oh, you, you don't uh, They you went out another way out onto the road and met them down there but uh, uh, the deer I don't know where the deer went after they went down across one of our fields and uh, dogs were trying to get through fences uh, in fact, a few of the dogs, you actually feel very sorry for them. They were getting caught up in fences and they were injured. Uh, I really thought the whole thing was very cruel, you know, from the dogs on the... But when the, the man from the Ward Union Hunt said, you know me, he, y uh, does that mean, he, does he, do you know him personally, he's a neighbour? Well, he's not a neighbour. Uh, uh, farmers are obliged to, uh, if an animal dies, to have yeah. them disposed of through an ackery. Okay, yeah. and the Ward Union Hunt provides that in this area. Oh, did he? Okay, you go down and get. Yeah, okay, they they, so they, 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 they rend, collect them. They render the animal or whatever. Yeah, they do. yeah, okay. Yeah, well, I presume they feed them to the dogs. Yeah. They, they charge for the service, and I presume they feed them to the dogs. I don't know. That's their, uh, uh, which is another form of intimidation. If yeah, you but like yeah, hang on. He said, "You know me." He said, "Listen, you can." Tr what's he saying? You can trust me. Well, he's saying, "Cut me some slack here." Uh, I assume so, but. There's no, like, there's a number of reasons why. There's no way we'd let them in onto the land. I mean, uh, as I said, it could be anything from 60 to 100 horses. If they okay. go across the land this time of year, they'll do serious damage. They'll cut up the land and all the rest of it. Also, with the sheep. I mean, yeah. we've been in lamb yows. So I'm uh, slamming in a few weeks, isn't it? What, yeah, two, two and exactly. a half million lambs are due, apparently, across the country. I don't have to count. Apparently, it's an but incredible but figure. But anyway, <laughs> that's your point. How did it finish, Tony? Well, they finished that. Uh, they went down the road outside, and uh, uh, they were collecting some of the dogs there. I don't know where the deer went, and they went back, and there was still up to an hour after. There was still dogs wandering around that had got lost. Hmm. Uh, I presume that they collected now, them. Tony, were you under the impression that the Ward Union hunt doesn't couldn't hunt a stag anymore? Oh yeah, I, I said to this man, I said, "What you're doing is totally illegal." He said, "What do you mean?" I said, "You're, you're uh, hunting deer," and he said, "We're not hunting deer." And what was he doing? I don't know. Well, but, but, well, said, did, like, well, did he say the deer has escaped, so we had to go out and chase it? No, he didn't say. Uh, saying, uh, I mean, I said I, I can't see with my own okay, eyes. Okay, where did the deer end up for a finish? I, haven't, I, I don't know. I haven't a clue, Joe. Well, they normally come along and take it in the back of it. Uh, yeah, I know, but he went off our land, and at that stage, his health and wife were too busy uh, trying to get our sheep back together again. Okay. The, she the sheep were obviously upset. Uh, normally, when I go into the field to feed them, feed them soil, and they come up and eat. This time we had to go down and it took us a good while to get them together because they were 
upset mm. by the dogs and the noise. OK, let's try and get the update on the law. Neil O'Donnell is a well-known campaigner again, and, and Irish Animal Welfare Forum. Neil, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Joe. Now, you'd be a campaigner against the Ward Union Hunt for mm -hmm. many a long year. What is mm -hmm. the story on John Gormley's ban? Well, they're flouting the ban. Um, Are you I'm allowed hunt stag? No, it's you're not allowed to hunt stag. It's illegal? It's illegal. It's illegal to pursue a, um, a stag with more than two or more dogs. Um, and yeah, I so, so, so therefore the Ward Union Hunt wouldn't do it because they know if they did do it, We've got calls, I think it was within an, within an hour, and I know it was John Gormley. It was John Gormley was listening when he was minister and he was outraged and it prompted him about the stag in the schoolyard. Do you remember that one down in oh, yeah. Stamullen? Oh, yeah. But, but my yeah. point is that if the Ward Union Hunt went out hunting and you say breaking the law, they would be caught fairly quickly in the country we live they're in. They're not, Joe. They're not being caught. And I have been out, I was out a couple of times in the 2010, 2011 season and I, I've seen them hunting stag. They're hunting stag with you know, I, I, I saw at least half a dozen dogs. Um, we reported it to a number of guard uh, stations in the area. At the time, the guard told us that they weren't aware there was a ban on stag hunting. Now, we have subsequently cleared that up with the guard, but um, a doll question to Jimmy Deanahan, who's the minister responsible. He claims that there are monitors out monitoring their activities, but under the Freedom of Information, we've been unable to ascertain how many times they've gone out or what they've found. And I, I seriously suspect there is no monitoring going on at all of what's happening there. Um, and they're still hunting. But there's still always hunting somebody. Out, but there's always somebody out with video cameras, isn't there? And no, no, there isn't. I mean, unless they're, you know, animal rights groups. That's who what are I mean. Yeah, that's what I mean. Well, they're not always out. But I mean, I we have several instances of, of having seen the, the Ward Union hunt stag. I mean, we've seen it with our own eyes. We know it's happening. Um, but it's another matter to actually well, get is the there authorities a is, there a, is there a loophole in the law that they're jumping through? No, there's no loophole okay. in the law Bernie, whatsoever. Ber Bernie writes in North Dublin again. Uh, you're the Association of Hunt Saboteurs. Hello, Joe, yes. Um, did, did you see the ward hunt out? Yes, I've seen it myself, yes. Um, we have been out all last season and um, this season. Were they out on Tuesday hunting a stag? Uh, they couldn't be found on Tuesday because we have their meat card. And we go to well, Tony, where Tony Ryan to said he found them. For the last few uh, sorry, weeks, they yeah. haven't been. Excuse me, Joe. They've yes, Tony. Their... They definitely were hunting on Tuesday. As they, uh, I uh, heard them first at about 10 to 3, and they were still around in this area hunting until half four, five o'clock, uh, obviously trying to collect their dogs. Okay, Bernie, when you see sorry, them... Sorry, Joe, I'm not saying they were not out, but they were not out I know that. Were. But when you and, and we couldn't find okay, them, but, but we when have you, occasions. Yes, and what do you do, what you do with that? Yeah, but you're saying it's illegal. What do you do with that information? We go to the guards every time, and, and as Nuala said, the guards at one stage didn't know well after the ban that there was a ban, but that's been sorted. We've met with the police now, and they will come out if we call them. But it's not that simple. 70 people on horses, a uh, pack of hounds, and the stag, to get them all in the one frame with a video camera is nearly an impossible task. They're, they're further away than we want them to be. OK, they're very take that fast. Back. And Tony, I presume you didn't call the guards? I didn't know, because... Uh, well, we spent a few hours trying to get our sheep settled down and all the rest of it. You don't have any photographs of the stag, the dogs and the horse, horsemen and women in the one spot? I certainly don't. I mean, I was down the field trying to... OK, I understand. I understand. But, yeah, you're, uh, but you're adamant, you're adamant, your allegation is that the Ward Union hunt were out hunting a stag on Tuesday of this week yeah. with dogs and uh, riders on horseback. Yeah, and I mean, okay. the, 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 when they say about two dogs, I'd say close to 30 dogs after okay, this stag. Okay, okay, okay. Thanks, Tony. Back after this, Tony Ryan. Talk to Joe on 1850 715